Alright guys. Mark, you starting? Um, Matt, you spoke to us ahead of the Real Madrid game, I think I'm right in saying you were really positive about what Celtic could do in this group and in the Champions League. How has the learning curve been for you so far and your, and your teammates? Yeah, no, definitely a lot to learn. Uh, again, probably because quality of opposition is higher than what we're used to in you know the Scottish League. So um, yeah, a lot to learn in terms of especially the ruthless side of it. You know, if you give them a chance, they they're very quick to just kind of punish you. Um, that's what we've had to learn very quickly. Um, even for ourselves, we've had a lot of times where we've had good chances and we haven't taken them. And that's kind of probably to determine the result of the game. Um, yeah, that's probably been the biggest thing, if I'm being honest. The manager spoke since sort of last week and said at, at times maybe you took the, the safer option because it's that, that fear of, of being as positive because of the quality of players you're around. You're not used to playing at that mm. level. You maybe do different things than you would do if you were playing in the Premiership. Give us an insight as a player. What makes it difficult to do what you normally do? Is it just the, the speed of everything around you at this level? <sighs> yeah, I think it's a number of factors. I think first and foremost, again, we're not... You know the most experienced of teams at this level in terms of the players we have. You know, we've got a lot of young players who are new to the level and are new to the experience of it. So those first couple of games, not necessarily nerves, but you don't really know what to expect. So maybe there's something in your mind which is telling you something that you're not used to, um, which again you learn by by playing games at this level. Um, and yeah, um, there's a, there's a lot of different challenges. Just mentally, uh, physically, it's obviously more demanding on the body. Um, our, like our running stats have been significantly higher in these games than they are when we play domestically, um, which I think kind of just shows probably because of the quality of opposition. Um, and you know, all these factors can probably affect things slightly. Um, but no, personally, I've I've learned a lot in terms of you probably do have to move the ball slightly quicker. You need to make quicker decisions. Um, you maybe need to be a bit stronger when you're like trying to protect the ball. All these little things they add up over time. Um, and yeah, I've learned a lot in the first three games. Perhaps easier is the wrong word to use, but are you, as a team, do you think getting better equipped to deal with Champions League football as the group goes on? And do you think the team will be better results-wise as the group goes on? I hope so. Yeah, you know, um, I can't promise a certain result going into a game, but we've definitely learned. I think I think we know what we need to do to win the games now. You know, I think just that ruthlessness in front of goal and really being clinical in those final moments, that's probably the biggest difference at this level. Um, the good thing is we're creating the chances, first and foremost. You know, if we weren't creating the chances, that's a whole different story, you know, then we're probably going to start, people will start panicking, saying, oh, they're not, they're not suited to this level. But we've proved in the games that we've played that we can compete with these teams, you know, we can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. And again, yeah, if we're just a bit more ruthless, probably in both boxes, then that should help us. Your task was dropping into Callum's role at the weekend. How did you find that? Yeah, no, enjoyed it. Um, I've done it. I've done it before in the past. Maybe not in the exact same system, but I feel comfortable in terms of what I need to do. Um, it's obviously different to what I'm used to at the moment. I've been playing slightly higher up, um, so structurally it's slightly different. But because our structure is so clear and we all know what we're doing, dropping in isn't so difficult. I obviously know where Cal needed to be when he was playing there so me slotting in kind of that helped just from getting that relationship with him when he was there so no, I feel good about it He obviously has a big influence over this team does it feel like big boots to fill or did it seem you know, quite seamless going into that position? Yeah. You can't really replace Cal in terms of just, not even just his football side just in terms of what he brings as a character in the team you know I'm not thinking about it on a personal note if I'm being honest I'm just there to, to do what I can do in that position um, but yeah, naturally, Cal's obviously a big loss. We know that. Um, probably the most important player in the team just because of everything he brings. Um, but saying that, I think we've got enough enough characters and enough good players to, you know, hopefully keep the performance level high. Will that help your development as well? So, you know, playing in different roles and having those experiences against different teams in different positions? I think so, yeah. I think it's just more learning, isn't it? Um, I've done it in the past, so like I said, I do feel comfortable playing, to be honest, any sort of midfield role, if it's, whether it's deeper or in the middle or even slightly higher, I feel comfortable. Um, just because throughout my like young academy career, I played you know all around, so I feel comfortable slotting in there. Um, yeah, hopefully I can do a good job. You mentioned you 
played there before, was that your film days? or Film you... days, yeah, MK Dons as well. Um, just slightly different systems, you know. Um, MK Dons we played with two deeper ones and then two in front, more of like a box. Um, but in terms of the concept, I'm deeper down on the pitch, so it's, it's the same concept in that sense. Um, and then at Fulham we did play for a while with the same midfield midfield shape. Um, but then slight details are just different, you know, in terms of restrictions of where you're supposed to be going in and around that. So, um, you know, those experiences from the past have definitely helped me get a good understanding of what I need to do, yeah. Matt, do you have a sense that a win for you tomorrow night completely changes the complexion of the group? Yeah, it, it, well, it does, yeah. We'll be on four points as opposed to one, so that'll, that'll be better. Um, no, um, of course, we, we know the importance of this game because after that, it's probably going to be a little bit a, bit, a little bit harder. Um, but saying that, our approach to the game is still the same. You know, we we approach every game in the same manner, uh, the same preparation. And as I touched on earlier, if we can be a bit more ruthless in their box and, and ours probably, then that should be the difference. Um, but yeah, like you said, it probably is quite an important game in the bigger scheme of things. But we'll see what happens. Do you think it's going to take your best performance of the season so far to get past what looks like a, or something from last week, a, a very good Leipzig team? Probably, yeah, you'd expect so. You know, they're playing at a very high level right now. Um, saw that in the in last week when we played them. They're, they're a very good side. Um, however, we did have some really good chances. You know, um, they probably did deserve to win the game, but we're at home now as well, which is changes things a little bit. Our fans behind us can really make a difference so yeah we're feeling good well, I wonder how much a game like St Johnson prepares you for a game like this when you have to go up a level and how much a kind of different mood there is now when you get a, a 95th minute winner as opposed to a, a late draw yeah and no, I think that winning feeling going into a game is definitely important um, to be honest we weren't you know buzzing when we came in the change room after all we were probably a bit more frustrated that we didn't put the game to bed earlier on because we had so many chances. And I think that was a message between a lot of us, just even from speaking to a few boys today, we were saying we're just going to have to be a little bit more clinical if we're going to you know, have a good chance of winning this game. So I think that's been the main message. We know what we need to do to to win this game. It's just about you know, carrying that out on the pitch tomorrow. Matt, I was speaking to Greg Taylor on Wednesday after the game against Leipzig and he says that you need to start winning games to prove that you belong in the Champions League. Do you think a, a, a win tomorrow would would prove that, that you actually belong here and this is the stage that Celtic belong on? Yeah, no, I think he's right. Um, it's a results business at the end of the day. I think we've proven that we're capable of playing at, at this level in terms of the performance, but now it's just about getting the result, like you said. Um, and I think we've got all the attributes to do that, to be honest. It's just about actually doing it now, like Greg's probably said. Um, performances are there. Everyone's still feeling positive and feeling good, which is the main thing. You know, if we were in the training ground doubting ourselves and thinking, oh, we need to change something, then it's probably a different story. But the approach is still the same, and I think we're confident we can do it. You touched on there that you said there was a, a slight change now that you're playing this one at home and that the fans make a difference. What difference does that exactly make to you as a player? How does that influence your game? Yeah, it's it's massive, genuinely. Um, feels like you can probably run an extra couple of kilometers in a game just from the noise in itself. You know, every time we want, we want to throw against Madrid, the whole place erupts. So just little things like that give you that extra boost. Um, and yeah, just that whole electric atmosphere in the stadium just makes you want it. It just makes you want it that bit more. Almost that's what it feels like. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll do everything everything we can for them to win the game. You're a guy that came up here, Matt, and hit the ground running immediately when, when you joined the club, but it's been difficult for Alexandro Bernabe to make an impact in the side, but he looked particularly good on on Saturday. Um, do you, have, you, have you felt for him, and has, has it been difficult for him to assimilate? Yeah, I mean, his situation's probably quite different to mine. He's come a long way. He's come from Argentina, doesn't speak the language, so these things are massive factors, you know, in terms of really understanding the structure of our team and the details, you know, they make a difference. Even culturally, it's a big change for him. So naturally, I think it's understandable. It's taken slightly more time for him to adapt, you know. And saying that, Greg's played at a very high level all season. So I don't think it's anything Berner's done wrong necessarily. I think he's played, he's done well every time he's played. Um, sometimes you need to be a little, a little bit patient when you're a new player. And he's been just that. Um, 
But yeah, really happy for him because I think he played really well at the weekend. And just finally, um, they've got such a, a strength of talent up top, Leipzig and Kunku and, mm -hmm. and Werner. Um, how do you deal with these guys? How do you cope with that threat? Yeah, sometimes it's, it's hard to. Um, I think it's about being as focused as you can be, you know, not switching off at all. Um, that's as I've seen in the last game. Anytime you switch off for a, for a split second, they're there to punish you. Um, so yeah, if, we, if we're laser sharp focused throughout the whole 90 minutes, I think that's our best chance of stopping them, yeah. David? Hi Matt, a draw doesn't really suit either side. And if Celtic actually take the lead, Leipzig will have to go for it. But bear in mind what happened last week and what the manager said. Is it important that we don't try and hold on to what we've got and try and go for a second goal? Yeah, I think so. I think the way we're set up, we're not a team that's designed to protect a lead. We're a team that's designed to, you know, add to it, score more goals, keep attacking. That's kind of the way we're, we're designed to play. Um, we're not the biggest of teams. We're not designed to, you know, sit back and defend our box too much, you know. We'll do it when we have to, of course, and we'll try to, but we're a team that wants to be on the front foot, wants to be aggressive, wants to press. Um, so yeah, that's the game plan for sure. Matt, we saw Cameron Carter-Vickers take the captain's armband against St Johnston. What does he bring to the side in terms of being a captain? And how does that differ slightly from perhaps what Cal McGregor might bring? Um, yeah, no, Cam's a, he's a great presence just in terms of his stature on the pitch and the calmness he brings to the team when he plays. Cal's probably more vocal. He's, Cal's probably the most vocal guy on our team, to be fair. And Cam's someone that probably speaks more when he needs to and leads from, in that sort of sense. Um, but he's got that respect from all of the players because of his consistency and you know his responsibility that he takes on the pitch. So very different in terms of the characters they are, but equally just both as good as stepping in that role. Hi hey Matt, we're seeing your versatility just now playing in that kind of deeper role in midfield. Mm -hmm. uh, just to ask you, Siad Haksabanovic had a really good game at the weekend. Mm -hmm. um, is it good to have an individuals like that around you that can play different positions? It's obviously something the managers spoken quite a lot about but you know going forward players having that versatility in the team is that something that you think makes the team a lot, a lot stronger? I think so yeah I think you know especially when you get a few injuries it's helpful to have players that can play in different areas you know to have, to emphasise you know we need to perform at a very high level and if people can slot into different positions and perform at a high level there then it just helps it just helps us massively you know um yeah, he did really well on the weekend, I thought, in that position. And the fact he's able to play at such a high level there and do the same on the wing, I think that's just only going to add to, to our squad. OK, the press conference for Leipzig is at half past five. Just Camera this. guys and photographers just need to stay in the seating deck. There's still zones at training, so stay in the seating deck or behind the goal.